Welcome to Bible Track Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracks, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracks and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world, and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracks will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. Greetings to you, my friend. What a delight it is to be with you today. Thank you so very much for letting this program be a part of your day. My Bible right now is sitting open to the Gospel of Mark in chapter 12. Verse 34 will be my focus. If you can, get your Bible and join me there, Mark and chapter 12. Well, friend, have you ever known somebody that was, well, as much as you could tell, was right on the verge of coming to Christ and being saved? There have been times that I've been sharing Christ with a lost person, and I could tell, I could tell that their heart was being touched by the gospel truth. You may have had the same experience in your time of being a soul winner. Now, I have seen folk who were clearly under the conviction about their sin and were, well, well, frankly, they were ripe for salvation. Some of these folk, I'm sorry to say, did not, at least right then, did not receive Christ. Oh, friend, to see someone so close to salvation and then turn away from it, well, it's almost too much to bear. Why did some get so close and then not receive Jesus as their Savior? Now, obviously, there's various reasons, and you probably know many of them already, but here are the ones that I have seen. Some have said that they did not want to get saved right then because it was going to cost them a relationship with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or some other friends in general. Some said no to Christ because they feared what their parents were going to say. Others said no because they frankly desired to enjoy the pleasures of the flesh for a, a while longer, and then they were going to get their life right with God. Others said that they, they knew coming to Christ was going to cost them some of their favorite life activities, and they did not want to give them up. We're going to see a man who is close, who is close to salvation. Today, I'm going to have the opportunity for you to text me, and uh, when you so do, you're going to be able to uh, share what you think about the broadcast today and even give us some feedback about future broadcasts. Many, many folk have been doing, taking advantage of this opportunity of texting us. I'll be giving you a phone number and the key by which you can communicate with us. If you're in a, in a text messaging kind of mode of life, you'll be waiting for that as well. Now, friend, in my hand is one of our gospel tracts. This one's entitled, A Tribute to Mother. A Tribute to Mother. Recently, again, I heard of some ladies at a church who uh, were having a baby shower, and they gave everybody that came one of these tracts. The person who was having the baby had recently come to Christ, and the church ladies held the baby shower at somebody's house so that it was away from the church, and they invited... I mean, friend after friend of this newly saved lady who was about ready to give birth. And these this church put on a real bash for this gal. Many of her lost friends were there. They had a great time and they shared the gospel. One of the ladies walked through this track there, read through with everybody having a copy. And it impacted ladies, lost gals, and even the saved gals and their own commitments to be a mom. Oh, friend, here's a great track for reaching ladies, a tribute to mother. I still use this track, by the way, when I'm out in restaurants and I see a group of ladies there, I still use it and I've yet to have it be refused. It's always taken. Let me send you this track, won't you please? At the very end of the broadcast, my announcer is going to come on and give you three different ways by which you can communicate with us. Ask us uh, for the sample packet of all of our tracks. This one will be in it. And you can get that absolutely free by giving us your name and your address. Well, come with me now to Gospel of Mark and chapter 12, 
Verse 34 is going to be my focus, but let me begin at verse 32. It says this, And the scribe said unto him, that's Jesus, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself is more than the whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Notice now, then and when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God. Now there is a man close to salvation. Yesterday, I gave my outline for the paragraph here that we're in, and this incident during the Passion Week of Christ is uh, really stands out to me. The fourth point of my outline was based upon verse 34, and the word I used to label this part of the outline was the word position. The position of this man, this Pharisee, his position in relationship to the kingdom of God. Mark's gospel opens with John the Baptist preaching. Mark chapter 1 and verse 15 gives us a uh, the challenge, at least part of the challenge, that John the Baptist gave to his audiences. It went like this. He said, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. That was a key part of what John the Baptist preached. Now, because Jesus had come to earth, the kingdom of God was close at hand. You can't have a kingdom without a king. Jesus is the king of kings. He came to offer the Jewish people the promised kingdom. Now, by so, doing, by so doing, it doesn't mean that Jesus would not have had to die on the cross. The whole opening of the Christmas story obviously declares that he came to save his people from their sins. And the only means of his uh, providing salvation was his death at Calvary, his shed blood, and his rising from the dead. Dead. Now, when Jesus sees that this Pharisee is getting the truth, he's understanding, he's grasping it, Jesus declares that he is not far from the kingdom of God. Uh, putting it in today's vernacular, Jesus is saying that this man is near to salvation. Now, he's not saved, but he's close. Does this mean, does this mean that this man uh, ever got saved? You and I don't know. We're not told about uh, this man any further in the word of God. Did he come to Christ that day? Don't know. Did he come to Christ later on? Don't know. Did he never get saved? I don't really know. I do know that after the resurrection, many Jewish leaders did become obedient to the faith. There is a there is a difficult Bible passage for, for us Bible teachers. It's found, well, there's a few difficult passages, but one is found over in the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, and the first six verses there. Those verses speak about people who are tasting of the good word of God. They are experiencing a real level of conviction and drawing power by the Holy Spirit. The verse says it is, now listen to this word, it is impossible, it says, for those who were once so enlightened, so brought near to the understanding of salvation, those that have brought, have tasted of that, and yet still reject Christ, it's impossible for that person to be renewed again to repentance. Now, that truth is a very sobering truth, and frankly, it's somewhat frightening. It ought to be for those who have been people who have heard the gospel over and over and over again. Friend, I cannot see inside a person's heart and mind, and neither can you. You and I cannot tell if a person has reached this level of enlightenment and yet not received Christ. I do know, though, that many people are like this man in our passage. They have been drawn near to Christ, and what they do with Jesus will determine their eternal destination. They're going to determine between heaven and hell. Friend, if Jesus is drawing you near to himself to be saved, you need to respond to him today. Abandon whatever is in the way. Whatever, Abandon whatever friendship that may cost you to come into Christ. The friendship of Christ means more than any earthly friendship. Abandon any person that you think you're in love with that would draw you back. Oh, friend, I'm not saying abandon your, your mate that you're married to, but friend, if you are uh, going to be held back from Christ because you think that your boyfriend, your girlfriend, the one you're engaged to will not like it, come to Christ. Let Christ solve that problem. Now, friend, 
many a soul has been drawn near to Christ. They have tasted of the good word of God and they've turned away. If that is you, you are on perilous ground. Today is the day of salvation. You must be born again or else you'll never see the kingdom of heaven. Let me stop here and just say this. Uh, how do you think? What's your, what's your thoughts on the broadcast today? Would you text me? Text me the word gospel, G-O-S-P-E-L, to this phone number. This phone number is different than what my announcer is going to give at the end. I'm going to give the phone number now, and about a minute from now, I'll give it again for those that may be driving. You should not be texting while you drive. But here is the text message number. Text me the word gospel. You tell me what you think. Text me at this number, area code 708-515-4086. 708 515 40 86. Text me the word gospel. When you do, I'll begin to ask you, for what, first of all, what your name is, and then I'll ask you to rate this program, and you'll be able to give me feedback. You can even ask me a question, and I will respond to you as quickly as I can. Now, friend, if you and I, who are trying to share the gospel with the lost people, see someone get close, understand that they must be drawn by the Spirit of God, you and I cannot force somebody to get saved. We don't want somebody coming to Christ because we somehow or another manipulate them. If God doesn't draw a soul, then they're not drawn. Oh, friend, but when somebody we share the gospel with, is, is we sense that they're being drawn, let us encourage them and urge them that today is the day. Pray for them. Stop in the middle of your gospel presentation and pray. And ask God to give them the grace and the faith that they need to receive Christ as Savior. Well, I really am interested in you texting us. Uh, Do it. Here's that number again. Are you ready for it? Text me the word gospel at area code 708-515-4086. Again, that is 708-515-4086. We're about ready here in the Gospel of Mark to turn from Jesus being asked questions to Jesus beginning to ask questions himself. You do understand that Jesus in the Passion Week and the the Lamb of God or the Lamb at at Passover had to be crucified, had to be killed, that is, on the 14th of the month. Every Jewish family would choose their lamb on the 10th day of the month and keep that lamb separate, and they would watch the lamb. Uh, The lamb would have to be examined to make sure it's pure enough for the sacrifice on Passover. Jesus is here being examined day by day of Passover week. He is going to find out that he is the pure, sinless Son of God, the fit Lamb of God, who's about ready to die on the cross to pay for the sins of the world. Friend, if you know the facts about Christ, and have never received Christ, you ought to respond to Christ and do so today, right now, as a matter of fact. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You stay tuned. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Tract Echoes. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is Bible Tracks, P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.